So if any of you have read The Warrior Method uh, that I wrote last year, um, you'll, you'll know all about this. Um, but bullying is a really, um, it's a subject that's really close to my heart. And, you know, I've been through it a lot when I was younger, changing a lot of schools. Um, and, you know, these transitions that I went through from changing schools made it harder um, to fit in. Um, and certainly I went through a lot of bullying. But, you know, having that in mind, I've mentored a lot of students through bullying. Um, you know, a lot of students actually come to us because they're being bullied. And I've got a bit of a different way of looking at bullying, I suppose, to a lot of people. Um, I believe, you know, from the research we've done, if you read the Warrior Method book, it's in there as well, that a child is more likely to be bullied now than not being bullied. Um, and that's even more so with things like cyberbullying, where, you know, the bully can hide behind a computer, an alias. They don't have to be known, but they can still do the damage. So one of the things that I try and explain to parents um, when I'm trying to like pass on my views on bullying is that it's not your child being a victim and this happening to, it's a transition your child is going through. So I'll just say that again. It's not something that's happening to your child it's a transition they are going through. So I don't see bullying, you know, like a, like a one-off thing. I see bullying as a life lesson that most human beings go through to learn how to deal with confrontation, to learn how to deal with conflict, and to learn how to resolve those issues. And the worst thing you can possibly do is not to learn how to do that because it will keep repeating all the time through their younger years, through teenagehood, and on into adulthood. And this is why adults get bullied as well, because they haven't learned how to deal with confrontation and to deal with, with conflict and how to resolve that. So what I've done is I've developed um, six steps to overcome bullying. Um, well, what I'll do on this video, in the comments below, I'll add in uh, a link to the video so you guys can see that as well. Um, but we've used these six steps to help children overcome bullying. Um, and a lot of that is putting bullying in the right context. It's um, planning and preparing for bullying at home. It's, um, there's so many different things there, which is it's really worth having a look at the video. Even if your child's not being bullied, just to be aware of how you can help them if and when it does happen. 